To prepare a file for use with the 3D printer, first you need to make sure that you have some STL files saved on your computer. I have two chess pieces here, king.stl and queen.stl, which I've saved from SketchUp or some other 3D modeling software if you're using something different. Now, if you open up FlashPrint, you will see a large white button, the model file button in the top left hand corner of the screen. Click that and with the window that opens up, click the plus button to add a model to the print plate. I'll start with king.stl. So select the file and then click open. And you can see it's shown in the list of models in the window that opened when I clicked the model file button. And it's also appeared on the print plate. Now if I want to move the view of the print plate on my screen, I can click and hold the left mouse button and move the print plate around the screen. And if I want to rotate the view, I can hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around to get a different view of the 3D model that I've created. Now I want to move this 3D model around the print plate. To do that, click on the move button and you can see this new window has appeared and I can manually change the X and Y position of the um, model as well as the Z position which is up and down. But really you can just click on the model itself and click and drag it around the print plate which is easier. Make sure that you are actually on the print plate. If you move off the print plate you will see that the highlighted sections indicate that you are off the print plate so make sure your model is on. And I can scale this model by clicking the scale button again on the right hand side and just using the um, sliders I can move up and down to change the sizes of the model or I can click on the model itself and move the mouse up and down to change the size that way. So if I just move this to the side of the print plate and now click on the plus button again I can add the queen chess piece and then using the move tool I can move the chess piece around and using the scale tool I can make it smaller. And then finally if you want to duplicate some of these pieces you can select the one you want to duplicate so I'll choose the queen and then click on the duplicate button which is the square with the plus symbol inside it on the right hand side of the screen. You'll see an options um, panel appear with duplicate count. So if I want two more of these I can just set it to two and click OK. And then again using the move tool you can manually reposition them on the print plate if you need to. So let's say I'm happy with the size and the positioning of these pieces. Um, I can go ahead and run them through the slicer. If I've made a mistake and I want to remove some of the pieces, so let's say I want to remove the king, I can click on the king in the model list and then click on the trash can to delete it. Now I'm left with three queen pieces which I'm going to 3D print. To do that, click start slicing at the top of the screen. Ignore all of these options, these are already set to what you need. So simply click the slice button. Let the program do its thing, it will take a few seconds. And then you'll see you've got three new options at the top of the screen. Click local save and then save to local. Select the place on your computer where you want to save the file. So right now I'm calling this Queen and it will be saved as a GX file. You can see that at the bottom of the window. And it's the GX file that you want to put onto the USB drive that you plug into the 3D printer. So I'm going to call it Queen.GX. So all I need to do here is hit the save button. And there it's saved to my computer. Now if I go to my chess pieces folder, you can see I have queen.gx here. All I need to do is copy this file and then paste it onto a USB drive and it's ready to run with the 3D printer.